Hey people out there, my name is Vincent, or better known as Da Vinci Creations, and this is my BriarFest 2023 haul video. So, you may be wondering, where the hell is your 2022 haul video? So, last year was a mess, and let me just quickly tell you about it. So, usually what I do is I put most of the models that I buy in my suitcase and travel back with them from the States to Germany, and then I do a big parcel and I ship the rest of the horses to me. That's what I did last year. I packed one big parcel that's going to me and then I packed another parcel that was going to my friend, which included horses of hers and just a handful of horses of mine. And that second parcel to my friend got lost. It was traveling back and forth between the States and Germany like eight times. So it has been in Germany and DHL said, oh, it's the wrong address. And they shipped it back to the States and they were like, this is the right address. So long story short, after eight months, they finally returned it to the States. What happened was the box got smashed, so they repacked it. They put the original label in the box, which meant there was not a clue of the right address on the outside of the parcel. And DHL just put an imaginary address on there because the street didn't exist. The town existed, but the street didn't exist in the town. Anyways, it was a whole mess and it was really frustrating. Um, I eventually will do a, a Briarfest haul video 2022 because I actually got my major grail lioness that year. So I really want to cover this. But in this video, actually, I will cover the handful of models that were in that missing or lost parcel. Because what I did this year, for the very first time in Briarfest history, I've been going like, what, five, six, seven years? Um, I actually bought a second suitcase and took all the horses with me directly on the plane because that was cheaper to buy an entire suitcase to check that in for $100 rather than shipping a big box to Germany, which was insane because I actually packed a big box, then realizing this is $250. So I took everything out again, bought a suitcase and traveled with them, which was quite nice because for the first time in forever, I had all the horses with me the first day that I arrived back here. So the whole video that I'm gonna show you now was actually recorded the day after it arrived. So I was jet lagged and very tired of like two busy, awesome, stressful weeks of Briarfest. It was actually the best Briarfest I ever had. But um, while editing this video, I realized I make a lot of spelling mistakes. I say a lot of weird things. So I have to edit a few of the things. So just look out for like writing on the bottom. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Um, just look at the pretty ponies and don't even listen to me. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first things first about this lovely background, I'm filming this again on my bed, so excuse the mattress in the background. But for this year's Briarfest, you could get these lovely reusable bags from the Bri Briar store. So all your special runs rare put in this or your celebration horse when you picked it up. I believe you got it in the store as well for the store specials, but I love, 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 love this bag. I actually think I've got three of them. They are really nice material, they're in lovely color, they are doable and they hold quite a lot of models. Just to compare, I'm gonna put one model in here so you can kind of see how big it is. So it really holds a couple of models and box models. So that was a great idea, Brian. Okay, first things first. So to really show off my packing ability here, I wanna show off the body lot first. Last year, I got the Nicholas Celebration Horse and I've got a couple. So I have three Nicholas uh, Celebration Horses in here that are all more or less bodies that I'm gonna use to repaint or do something else. And then I talked about the broken models from last year's parcel and those two other victims. Um, I bought this lovely Pratt Arabian Mare and Pratt Arabian Fall off of eBay and it's ear broke, it's leg broke, which isn't too bad because I wanted a body anyways but I hope she was fine, but like her ear broke off as well. And she also is very, very yellow. So I guess she gotta be a body too. And then for this year's celebration horse, uh, Bravour 54? I don't even know his name, which is really bad. Does it say on the belly? Yes, it does, I think. Nope, just Bravour 2023. So this is a celebration more horse for this year, which I don't like at all, the mold. The actual horse is stunning, but yeah, I, Got three tickets. I only brought one model back with me because I'm gonna use him as a body anyways. But yeah, this is the Briarfest Celebration Horse for 2023. So if you watch my other haul videos, you kinda know that I'm going through the models kinda in the order how I got them. So again, this next model is one that I got last year at Briarfest 
And funny enough, we went to the biggest bra store in the world. Currently forgot its name. I'm gonna put it right here, but it's in Virginia. So after Briarfest last year, we drove to Virginia from South Carolina, which took us, I don't know, like four hours to meet this lovely woman who's also every year at Briarfest and selling in one of the rooms. But she has these hotel rooms, like they're like outdoor kind of small buildings. I don't know. Um, and each of them were filled with briars. So we got to walk around and have a look at the price and this was one of the in box price that I bought um, just because I really wanted to buy a Pam last year and I didn't get the chance to and funny enough on that same day we went into one of the antique malls around that area and we found one of her booths so the briar lady had a booth in the antique mall and they had a flea written gray Pam which I bought so it was kind of stupid that we went to her first and I just bought this Pam just to buy a Pam even though I'm not really a fan of base and then I ended up buying a flea bit in grey the same day like an hour later. So she was kind of the extra model that I might sell but she was actually bought last year in the bride store and she's really lovely. She's an older mold but because she was in box she's actually in fairly good condition. Then we have this guy. Um, I honestly don't even remember his name. He was a vintage club release from last year and he's a flocked unicorn. It's just one of the first models that Briar released as a flocked model and everyone in the vintage club was so excited for him or not excited because they were hoping for a different vintage model. I don't know. I was really excited for him so I got him secondhand last year at Briar Fest. I think for more or less like his original price. Um, he has this real mane and tail too that kind of has like this glittery effect. It's a really long mane and tail. My friend Erica actually braided this mane for him for the open show and he actually placed. I can't remember what but he did place uh, and I think the braid looks just amazing on him. And in general, I don't know if my camera will be able to pick it up. So he has a blue eye, which is really lovely. We have this horn. And then the entire body is flocked, which means it's this white coat that Briar used to do for some of the vintage models back in the day. It's a really soft, cool looking model. I don't know if you can tell on camera because it's also white and white, but, but I love it. It kind of brings back my childhood dream Barbie moments and I just cannot stop touching its <laughs> mane and tail because it's so soft and it's kind of fun to play with. So I really do hope they bring out more flocked and real hair models. Talking about Briarfest 2022, these are the bears which were special ones last year for the German theme and I actually have never really opened them. So they do smell, so we're just gonna open them on camera. Um, so I actually have a glass that I'm gonna put them in so they kind of will hopefully keep the smell. But um, it was one of the special ones where I wasn't quite sure if I wanted them but they're so unique and cool and obviously connected to Germany that I just had to get them. Oh my God! Let me just... Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow, they do smell a lot. Wow, they're really, really cool. I didn't expect that at all. So this is the bear cup, so it's a smaller bear. And it's a clear one, which is really cool and that they smell is even cooler. Oh my God. Okay, this is really cool. I'm not gonna open the other two because otherwise I'm gonna have a very smelly room in here. But um, just so you know, like all of the bears are the same, just a different flavor, I even guess. I don't know. Really, really cute. Hi, future Vincent, Vincent here. I just wanted to show off this awesome glass because I mentioned that in the video. So these are the bears that are in the glass and they just fit in like that. My friend had to tell me how to like squeeze them in. So they're really tight in there. But this says gold bears. Um, what does it say? 1922 because that is apparently an anniversary for Haribo. But I thought it was really fitting because it was Briarfest 22 when they came out and there's a Harry Bull, Harry Bull bear on there and they just look amazing and they don't lose their smell and they don't smell so my whole room smells so. Okay, we're finally moving on to some more recent releases. Um, when Briar tend to release something throughout the year, I tend to ship it to my friend Erica and Carly and I just pick it up after Briarfest. Same with this girl. This is Flamingo, a Briarfest exclusive web special from last year. It does say Flamingo on her belly. She is one of the models in the Birth of the Feather series. I have a few. I will show off another one in a minute. But she was so freaking cool. Luckily, my friend Carly got picked for her because I think she's actually my favorite one in the whole collection because she is this rose gray color she does have really really light dapples i'm not entirely sure if you can see it with the ring light but they're really really faded and lovely and she has a very realistic looking eye she has this very very pearly effect you will probably see in the camera 
and I just adore this color. I really wish Briar would do it more on um, other models, but she also has this nib, which is really cute. My camera, 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 there we go. So I love her. Okay, so talking about Birds of the Feathers series, this was the next release, which came out in like March, April last year, which is the show jumper, is it Magpie? Is that how you say it? Inspired by Magpie Bird, which is why he has this very, very blue effect. He is actually darker in person. My ring light makes him pop, which is lovely. Um, and he was one of the models where I'm like, I don't know if I like him or not. So I just entered in the drawing and I was actually picked myself for him. So I just ended up buying him. I'm not entirely sure if I will keep him or not because he's very much the mix between realistic and decorator, which I think is kind of cool is that his blaze is like a feather. So he will fit in with my decorators, but it's, it's weird. Cause like I'm either like full on decorator or full on realistic. And because he's kind of the mix in between i'm really unsure if i want to keep him or not which maybe sounds weird but um yeah this is magpie the very blue glittery glossy goodness then another release that came out throughout the year this is shelby which was a gambler choice of three different colors so this was one color and this was the only appaloosa and i loved this guy when i saw the pictures and i was really really hoping i would get him so i got this model shipped straight from Briar to my friend in the US. And I was lucky enough to end up with the Appaloosa, the one I wanted, which never, never happens. Whenever there's a Gambler choice and Briar sends something to me, I always, and I say that again, always end up with the one I don't want. So I always have to trade it. So this was the first time in Briar history for me that I got the color that I wanted, which is really, really cool because I think the color looks amazing. And he reminded me a lot of a very specific model called Burbank. <clears throat> kind of teaser maybe, um, which was my grail for so, so long. But anyways, this year in general is kind of my Nakota year and you will re um, realize that later in the video because I d did buy a few Nakota models. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is Shelby. Next up, we have Snowbird, which is the winter briar from 2022, I believe, which was sculpted by um, Kylie Parks. And I ended her medallion um, competition that ended this year in February. And I actually was lucky enough to get first place. So she sent me a big box or better said, she sent a big box to my friends in the US with a couple of medallions, other resin things, stickers, and this guy, which was new in back box and I unpacked it. And it did take off his tag, but I still own this tag. So he is actually signed by Kylie, if you can tell. This is Kylie's signature. This is the year, um, Happy Holidays 2022. And I think it looks amazing because the gold pencil really matches the color of um, the briar print and it just looks stunning in general. He does have, my camera will probably not be able, or maybe actually, be able to show those shiny marks because he had the tech on and he does have a few rubs, including one on this side, there you go. But I ended in the open show this year and I put him on the table and he placed, I cannot remember which place, but he placed even with that rub and even with those shiny marks. I honestly don't know, but I really, really like him. And then talking about the open show, I ended up doing the novice collector class in the open show. If you don't know what a collector class is, it's very complicated and long probably to explain, but basically it means that you put a group of 10 to 12 Ryo F models together and they kind of have a theme, they kind of have a background and so on. So I had to buy another model in the States to fill in um, the 10 models that I needed. And that's why I bought this glossy goodness secretariat, which is a regular run for this year. But funny enough, he has a blaze version. So when I looked through all of them, I kind of was hoping to find a version because again, in Germany, we don't have any briar stores, so you can't really pick your own briars. So I went through them and one of them had this weird blaze. It might be hard to tell on camera with the gloss, but his blaze is actually not all the way through. It is supposed to be all the way through, but they kind of messed it up. Sorry, it's really hard to tell with the glossy in my camera. So basically we have one spot up here, a tiny spot there, and then a tiny spot at the end. And you kind of have like gooey stuff in the middle. But I thought it's kind of unique and cool with his like three point blaze that I just ended up buying him. Now we're finally moving on to Briar Fest purchases. And I actually made two purchases or three before arriving in Kentucky. Um, I was arriving pretty early on Thursday, which is 2 a.m. in the morning. We drove there Wednesday pretty late. So I only had Thursday really to shop. So I ended up doing some purchases before breakfast. And one of my big rails was this 
was this lovely Nakota model, which is called Java, Java, I don't even know. I would say Java in German, but it's probably Java in English, which is um, from the Big Cat series, which was a web special series. And back in the day, they had like about 250, I think, made of him. And he's the last one I'm missing for the Big Cat series. So I was hoping to get him uh, a few times. And then I actually went into a zoo um, on Tenerife, the Loro Park, and I saw a black panther for the first time in my life. And then I was so obsessed that I was like, I need to find this model this year at Briarfest because this model represents a panther. If you couldn't tell already, it's got the markings on there. It's got these amazing, freaking amazing eyes. I actually watched um, a review video from Stormy Strike because I was so obsessed with this model. And it might be hard to tell in, on the camera, but you have this very light color on like a light yellow on the bottom, then a light brown. And then you have the pupil itself which makes this very cool, realistic looking cat effect. So anyways, long story short, she originally, or he, he was originally about, what, $200 on Briar. And then he went for like two to three to maybe 400 a couple of years ago. And nowadays, for whatever reason, he's listed for $700, which I thought was a lot. So I didn't buy one and I didn't want to spend that much money on one. And then I saw one just before Briar first posted for 400, oh, sorry, 500. And I was like, this is not a bad price. So anyways, she told me that he has a few flaws, which you may be able to see on here. They have these white rubs, which I don't think is a bad thing because he's got a very dark color, so I might be able to fix it. But I'm gonna tell you in a minute how much I paid for him because I actually made a deal with her because she also had this model for sale, which is Alaric. I don't even know what its name is. Something with A. <laughs> I'm really bad with Brian names, as you can tell. But he is the last unicorn that I was missing. I collect unicorns and I collect the traditional scale Briar unicorns and this was the last one I was missing and usually like he's a regular run I believe or GC Penny exclusive from a couple of years ago all the other unicorns I got were under a hundred dollar and this one for whatever reason is going for around three hundred dollars and I was not will to pay that for him so I saw that she had him and he did have a broken pack in his hoff she removed actually the pack before we met at the clarion but he, she also realized that her, his horn was missing the tip. So the tip broke off, as you might be able to tell if my camera would focus. Um, but yeah, the, the tip kind of broke off, which I don't mind because I might be able to fix it myself. So she wanted originally 275 I believe, for this guy and 500 for this guy. So I asked if she would do a combined offer for five, sorry, for 700 for both. And she agreed to that. And I was like, great. So good deal, 700 for both models. She said she's going to look at them after work. So what she did is she saw those rubs on him and she realized he has a broken horn. So she, she asked me if I still wanted them. And I said, yes. And I was like, how would you do something with a problem? Price, would you go lower and she sent me the price for the both of these and I almost dropped to the floor I paid now for both of these model three hundred and seventy five dollars I have never sent her the money quicker but that's what she offered me for the both of them which I don't think is a bad price at all because it's again he was kind of 200 originally so I paid like around 200 for Oh, sorry, for each model. So yes, that was a great deal already that I found even before Briarfest and I was able to pick them up at the Clarion. So yay. One other model that I got before Briarfest or at Briarfest is this Nakota model. As I said earlier, I'm kind of obsessed with Nakota in general. So I kind of went on Identify Your Briar and looked at the molds and I was like, why do I like this original Nakota so much? I like rounds. And he's really, really nice, so why don't I buy one at Briarfest? So he usually goes for around $100, and someone put him on Facebook, new inbox, for $75, I believe. So I just jumped on it, and I was like, is he available? Can we meet up? So we met up on Thursday, and I unboxed him, and he is so freaking pretty. He doesn't have any flaws whatsoever, and mine actually is a very light version. He has those big white... Um, like spots on him, which I do like actually. So I think he's a very, very lovely version. Um, he also has very dark shadings. I did compare him with other models, with other Nakotas at the show. He also has these white speckles here. I don't know, I'm just really obsessed because I don't really collect regular Ron or F models anymore. And he was the exception for this year kinda. And I'm really happy that I did end up buying one because I personally think he is just overly stunning. Okay, let's finally move on to Briarfest itself. So the first model I actually bought is this Briarfest store special Viva Latia, and I was so excited for her. This was my very favorite special run from this year, like the only one I really, really wanted, and her 
space is really kind of weird and hard to get off. But anyways, um, I did end up looking through all the versions to find if I see a special version. So she's actually really, really pink in these areas. I have not been able to see or find any other versions of her that got that much pinking. A lot of them are just really faded, but she has a lot of pinking. Like this is a lot of pinking for her. And she's really, really lovely painted. She has this realistic brown looking eye and she is just stunning. I love her. And I got to meet the real Bialatia and her phone, which is kind of devil because he was biting everyone at Briarfest. And that's why I also got this model sign. I'm usually not a big fan of getting model sign because it's, I mean, it's the owner of a pretty horse basically, but I really like the real horse and I thought, you know what, this is exclusive to Briarfest in person that I can be able to get this model sign. So that's what I did. And I'm really glad I did because she's absolutely stunning. Okay, moving on to the actual special runs. So I want to just give a shout out to Briar for this eco-friendly wrapping uh, material that we had this year at Briarfest. You probably have seen it all over the internet. They use this cardboard kind of mesh uh, to wrap all the special ones. And then they come this plastic and then they have a plastic kind of between their legs, some of them. And then they usually have a white paper protection over its head and on the tail, which is kind of missing for this one now. But for someone who is really into recycling and saving the environment, I think this is a great step into the right direction, even though like we still have a lot of plastic with these guys and obviously the model itself is plastic. But for Briar as a massive company to choose to go more eco friendly is amazing and I'm so glad they did it. But let's quickly talk about this model. So as you probably know by now, all of the models came in variations. So this girl came in a different variation. This is the original black variation. There is a roast gray and I repeat, it is supposed to be rose gray. I asked someone from Briar. It's not bay, it is rose gray. So I actually didn't plan on originally getting this girl, but I ended up getting her from the second hand sale. She is really pretty, but I just really like the original um, or the variation color and I'm not a big fan of the original color. So I have two of these girls, which I will probably sell in Germany, but she is very pretty and I think even prettier as a variation. Okay, next we have Namir. I think this is his name or the way to pronounce him. I was really excited for this guy because I'm always a big guy on decorators. He, I think, was the least popular one this year also because he's the only one that didn't come in any variation, which I think was a really missed opportunity from Briar. This is a decorator, so why not make something fun with a decorator as a variation? But someone did mention that there is a slight variation, but no one picked it up yet, but I don't think there is actually a variation. I am not sure because I have not seen anyone point anything out. Is that masking tape on there? There is masking tape on there. <laughs> Anyways, I only got to unpack, unpack him and now for this video and it might be hard to tell because my camera will not be able to focus on it. But he's got a really weird kind of shading here. It's almost like the paint was too watery or they sprayed too close to it that it just left this really weird mark. Oops, sorry. And he also kind of got that on the other side, which I'm not impressed by, but also this is a very um, difficult paint job to um, kind of make. And I'm just very glad that these horses look good because I remember a couple years ago, they kind of had the same thing going on with the silver packages and all of them looked really, really weird. And some of them are really bad. So this is actually looking really good and impressive because they're all clean. It's not like raised, it's all soft. And in general, I think he's a very cute guy. I didn't like his like dark or like red mane at first because I'm like, why would you choose not a black mane? But they kind of did it because of the um, original, what are the vases, pots? I I don't know, because they were um, burned in the oven? I don't know. So this is why they used red, which looks really popping in my camera right now, but it looks more faded in real life, which is okay, so I like this guy. Then we get to Jump and Drive, which is this year's mane and tail variation. So he comes in this braided version, with braided mane and tail and also the loose mane and tail. And it's funny because I actually really like the braided mane more than the loose mane. I feel like a lot of people it's the other way around for them. So I was really happy that I got this sec this variation um, myself because usually I end up with a variation that I don't like. Um, I usually want the glossies, I end up with the matte, I usually, usually want one main variation that I end up with the other one. So I was excited that I was able to get the main variation that I really wanted. And I think he looks amazing. I mean, look at all the gloss. My, my ring light is going crazy on it. I like the color, I like the paint job. It's 
completely different, I feel like, to what Briar has been kind of doing before. I'm a sucker for blue eyes and I feel like they look really good on him. And in general, I'm just really happy with him. He was one of the ones where I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna get him. But I think he's actually one of my favorite ones now. So I'm glad I got him. But I kind of wish he did have a dorsal stripe, which would make him, what, a dun? And he's a buckskin now, I think. I don't know. I don't really know things about that. But um, anyways, he is very pretty. Okay, let's move on to the surprise horse. So I was this year for the first time at the open show on Friday. They kind of announced at the open show what um, the surprise horse is and kind of what colors when they kind of revealed and the signal at the open show is always a really really bad so some people were trying to send me pictures from germany of the surprise horse and they wouldn't load but anyways more and more colors were announced then my friend's surprise horse is bethany's models a friend picked up for her and she brought them over to the open show so we were able to look at them in hand and they are six different colors and i was kind of iffy about them like i like the mold but none, none of the colors really spoke spoke to me but then i saw kind of this guy and i was like he is amazing so i think his like right term is max sabino overo i don't know his original like underneath color is like this roni color which i really like they do kind of come in two different variations so one of like them looks really dark and this is a lighter variation that i kind of got i just think this is amazing this is a color that Briar has never done before and I think they really pulled this off. He has this very, very pearly effect. The ribbon is painted in two different colors. He is amazing. So he was my favorite from all of them and I got three surprise horses. And of course I ended up with three of these guys. <laughs> but I was able to trade one of these guys off for the buckskin version. This is the buckskin version and it's funny because when I pulled the second one or the third one I think of the Maxavero, I just walked around with him in the horse park just trying to trade him for any other color. And this girl was laying there with um, this guy and I was like, do you maybe want to trade? And she agreed to the trade. And I've actually not seen this guy in person before I traded him and he is so stunning let me tell you his shading is absolutely insane he does have a pearly effect kind of as well but i'm really happy that i did trade him because he wasn't really on my mind until i traded for him and now he is my second favorite color i think from other releases of the surprise wars but he is a very very stunning looking model and i love him so last but not least i want to show off this decorator which was kind of also a favorite of mine like as you can tell and as you know i'm a decorator friend i really really want to get this guy but he was selling for like 400 in the clarin and i wasn't able to kind of pay that so i went through the second chance sale of the special runs on sunday and i pulled a glossy of the buckskins and then now that he is kind of like on the same range of the glossies i do think the glossies are less common or more rare than this guy but i just really wanted this guy so i was walking around with my glossy and the first person who came up to me and asked me what I wanted to trade for I said the deco and she was like that's what I got so I ended up trading for the deco which I think is really cool because he's this very unique kind of golden coppery I don't know look but it's really cool it's really different something that Briar has never done before so I'm really glad that I was able to add him to my collection and then I quickly will show off the black Pinto, which is one of the models that I will probably sell, but I pulled him. He is really lovely. He has got a lot of details, two colored ribbon. Again, just not really my color. It looks good on him. We've got a big contrast of like the black and the white. He's lovely, but again, not really my thing. And then I also have this guy, which is the Depper Gray version, which is for friends. So when they had the second chance sale on Sunday, I asked her if she wanted one. So I ended up getting my friend one, which is an exception, but she did something for me. So I got her this model. So I do not do any picks up pickups for anyone. Briarfest is for me alone. So anyways, but she did something for me. So I got her this model. This is the Depper Gray version. It was kind of cool because I think it's a favorite version and I actually have not really seen it in person. And I am a big fan of Depper Grays. Like the only colors that I really collect are Depper Grays, Buckskins and Roans. So I was kind of on the edge if I really want this guy. And he is very pretty, like his devils are very nicely done and they're faded. But I have to say, he's not necessarily my favorite. And I do like the buckskin and the Max Overo better, I think. But that's just my personal opinion. Talking about the leftover sale on Sunday. Um, if you don't know, on Sunday, usually when the last special run time ended on Sunday, which was around 2, they offered up the special runs, like the leftovers for everyone that was there without a ticket. So that's what they kind of did this year as well. Some of my German friends were at Briarfest this year and I kind of liked this lady face, but I didn't like the full. And we were talking about it and she was like, I kind of like the full. So we ended up splitting the set. She got the full, I got the mirror. And it's really cool. I'm not a big lady face fan, 
but this color is just something that Briar hasn't really done before and it's an Ampelusa, so I kind of might as well have to get it. I'm just realizing she has a lot of pinking, which I really like, but yeah, she's really lovely and nicely done. Um, realistic eye, realistic color. I don't own the fall anymore, I just have the mare now, which is nice. So, last but not least, are you ready for my favorite Briar Fest special of this year? Oh my god, he looks really, really dark. So anyways, if you followed everyone basically on social media, you kind of saw that some of the models came in a variation just as the Arabian I mentioned earlier. The Spears, which is usually a chestnut, came in this really dark... It's really pearly in real life. My camera makes it look really pitch black, which I don't understand. He is really pearly and glossy and gorgeous. Someone on Friday came to the open show with this guy and I was like, I'm obsessed, I need him, but I also realized he will probably be very hard to get. So what I did on Saturday, I actually bought another Briarfest ticket because I didn't originally plan on getting Spears and I used this ticket, the two wild cards that I got, to get a surprise in this guy. And he was the last one I opened from like all my special ones and I freaked out when I opened him to realize he is the variation. Open one right next to me. Ah! Oh, that's open one right I'm never usually this lucky, so I'm really glad that I was able to pull him myself and didn't have to spend anything. He did have some like masking tape on his leg, which is really weird. The blue masking tape, you kind of can still tell there's masking tape on there. But I don't, I don't want to complain. He also has a, this really big piece of glossy on him, which is really weird. But again, I don't want to complain. He is just really stunning. He looks amazing. Again, he looks pitch black in my camera right now, but he is really shiny purple and my decorator heart is very happy that I got him. Okay, we're kind of moving on to the end of the Briarfest models and this isn't necessarily Briarfest special, but it is the volunteer model for Briarfest in Briar West 2023. So this is the lovely Croy model. Um, it does have a name, but I do forget what it's called, the volunteer model. But actually for this year, Briar decided to do three colorways for the volunteer model, which I think is amazing because each of the models is still very limited, but more people have the chance to get a volunteer model and more people are appreciated by a volunteer model like people from Briar West. So they had these two colors released at Briar West, which is the bay and this, I had a smoky black. I don't even know what this color is exactly called, to be honest. It looks amazing because it's a black. It's a color that Briar has never done before. It's got blue eyes, really lovely shading, this Appaloosa markings, and I was just obsessed. Um, and then this is the bay version, which I think is stunning as well. Not my favorite of them, but it looks really cool. So when I saw these two, I was like, I am obsessed. And I was actually really, really, really fortunate that I got three models myself this year from Briar directly because I did one workshop in person, I did one workshop online, and then just the resin show. So I got three models straight from Briar. I did end up with three of these guys, which is my favorite color, so I jinxed it again. But I was able to trade them off for the Bay and also the Roan, which is this lovely girl, because she is the third and final color, which we haven't seen until Briar Fest. And I think she's my second favorite in the series. I'm just a sucker for Roans, and she's so fiery and I love her a lot. A lot of people was, were hoping for like a, a Palomino or like a Dunn, something lighter, but I'm really kind of glad they did this Roan, which looks amazing. They, I mean, even a Buckskin or Dunn would have looked amazing, but she is so pretty and they're all really pretty. I'm happy and excited to own all three of these girls and I'm sorry that I'm kind of rushing through them, but otherwise I will not be able to finish this video until the next day. Okay, we are almost there. Let's move on to the Calarian again for the end of this video. So. I was able to get this amazing Glossy Liberty, which was a Collector Appreciation Event exclusive a couple of years ago. And that was back in the day when they were really limited. So there aren't any numbers now, but this guy probably only exists in like about 100 to 200. So I was able to trade him with a friend, Lauren Hofner, love you forever. So I was able to get him for my Silver Conga, which is now almost complete. I'm only missing one model, which is marvelous. Fingers crossed that I might be able to find him next year at Briarfest. This guy is really, really cool and glossy. I do have the matte version and I'm just overly excited and happy that I was able to add this stunning and limited guide to my collection.
And then for me personally, the Claren was really dead this year. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm only looking for like limited rare models. They're hard to find. Or if there was just simply nothing good this year at the Clarion. I don't know. So on Sunday, I did my last minute shopping and I went for the Roams and I just stumbled upon this girl, which is from the set of the best of three. I don't even know what it's called. They were the, the set of five from this year's Briar Fest. They've done a few in the past where they kind of recreate expensive or limited models on a smaller scale. And this girl, let me tell you is very 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 detailed for her scale even my camera is like what i can't even focus on her she's so pretty she has these dapples she has this really rich color and i just really like the mold so i'm not a stable made collector i do still have a <laughs> big stable made collection which is mainly unicorns and she was released mainly as a unicorn so i have her a lot so she was just like kind of for the conga so i was like might as well she was like 15 I think. From the same set, a friend of mine gifted me this model, which is based on a Briarfest open show price model, and she's just really cute. And I cannot say no to like free models. It's really weird because I've seen a few where they don't really have the spot kind of on the belly. Like the original model has the spot kind of on the belly fading into the mapping here, but for this model, they like whoever pointed them was just really pointing at this chest area and like painting too much of it. Anyways, long story short, I also went through the rooms on Sunday and I talked to this lovely girl who is apparently a really big fan of mine and my work, which was really lovely. She had a couple of these stable mates and she was like, if you take a few, I will sell them for $10 each instead of like 20 or 25. So I ended up picking these two. This is actually for a friend because she was looking for one. And then I picked this guy, which was in the club last year. And he is like, this is the color of the dress elegant set that Briar did and this is my favorite color that Briar ever done basically so I just had to kind of get this guy and he also exists as a unicorn so I do have him in my Kongon collection already and then we also move on to the only and last purchase I did for Briar Fest this year which is this lovely Pam model so again for me personally I have not really seen anything in the Clarion and I saw her a few times and I went back to her room on Sunday and I went out of the room again and then I went back in and I was like I'm just gonna buy her because I haven't bought a traditional skate model at the Clarion this year and it can't be and I like the Pam and I like her color and I didn't realize that she's a just about horse exclusive. I don't even know, it's something Storm called. Um, I've actually never really seen one in person. I don't know how limited she is. She does have a few flaws, but she's a really lovely gray. And what I think is even cooler is that she's signed on her belly. So it might be hard to tell with my light and my camera, but it says G-A-H, which, which stands for just about horses. And then it says 1993, which is, I was not even born that year. And then back then, Peter Stone still owned Briar, I think. So it's signed by Peter Stone in 49. My God, I can't talk anymore. Which I think is so unique and special that I've got a model which is signed by Peter Stone, a Briar model, and it's limited and it was 40 bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna take this girl home with me. And I'm so glad I did. Okay, okay, I know this video is probably super freaking long already, but we're finally moving on to my very last model, which is uh, before Briar has purchased. So I kind of jumped in this timeline, so I went through all of my models in timeline, but now I want to show you a model which is really important to me, and it has been my holy grail for years. I still can't comprehend and believe that I own this model. <clears throat> Drum roll, please. This is Burbank. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know what else to say. So Burbank is a Briar event exclusive. He was from Velvet Rope event, which was an in-person event in the States in 2008, I believe. And he's limited to 100 model, 95, something around that. So he's very, very hard to get. But funny enough, for the German Briar Fest, which is the live show in Bensheim, they always kind of got Briar exclusive. Back in the last couple of days when the show was still running, they kind of got like Briar Fest leftovers or something like that. Not really special, special. But one year, they actually got the leftovers of this guy, which was only a handful. I know Americans go nuts over this fact that Briar gave them an event exclusive model, which was an in state event model, to then send to Germany and give it to some people in Germany. But from my knowledge, they only have been releasing a few because for the show, the Bainsheim show, you were always able to choose between a Briar horse or a resin from Bridget. And actually more people chose this Briar, so they kind of had to do lottery on how many people got this guy instead of the resin. So I do believe only a handful of them made it actually to Germany. I don't have any numbers, but I would assume there might be like 10, maybe 
15 models max that made it the way to Germany. So this guy was very popular and like in the last couple of years his price increased more and more and more and more. So his kind of value is based around two thousand dollars now which is insane for me to think about but he has been my dream horse for a while because he is this bay roan he's got these slight devils he's got the upper loser markings and he's just so freaking pretty i mean look at his face markings look at all the detail the shading and so on and so on so it's a long story but bear with me so i was hacked on my personal facebook account i was kicked out of my facebook for about two three weeks until i got my login details back from the hacker when i went on facebook Facebook, someone had tagged me two, three weeks ago in a post on Facebook that, that someone was trying to find a trade for this guy. So I messaged this person thinking he is probably gone because he's very popular and it's been three weeks since this person tagged me but I was not able to see it because my Facebook was hacked. Anyways, I messaged this person and she said she hasn't found a trade yet and we started talking and I ended up trading with her. I traded three different models plus cash for this model, which was a lot, but it was based on the value that he was valued at. So I traded another event model for him and two other models and I put uh, $500 on cash on him and she agreed to the trade, which I was very, very happy and surprised about because the other models that I traded off were all models that I had for sale. So models that I want to let go anyway. So it's kind of cool that I was able to get him and I didn't have to get rid of any model that I really, really loved. Um, He does have a few like OF flaws, I guess. like. Some some of his markings are not like super super crisp and then he has like a lot of like white speckles somewhere but ooh, oh my god oh my god dropped him dropped him it's just a mattress so we're all good so anyways long story short i honestly cannot believe it this year has been the year of my grails to be honest like i have been able to tick off my top three models in the last couple month which is insane so i'm only missing marvelous again so he's my main guy that i'm looking for now and i might be able to add him to my collection this year you never know but Alrighty, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this very long haul video. Let me know in the comments below which of the models you like the best and if you actually still want me to do a BriarFest 22 haul video or any other video ideas because I haven't actually uploaded in a long time. I've actually moved. I've got a new space so I can actually do a new collection tour. But anyways, long story short, I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.